this video I'm going to show you how to create sign up page with email verification now uh, this is a sign up page I'm going to sign up with my name email ID uh, let me make my channel name and to follow along I leave the I have left the source code in the description now if you click on sign up uh, it will take some time and the reason is the mail is sending to your email address uh, I'm using localhost so I will be using the third party API third party function uh, which is mailtrap.io and whatever I submit the mail will be passed to this website and now if you remember I have created the account uh, email address with uh, UI monk so this is the UI monk now if you see we have got the email address there is a link inside it since it's a free I I am limited to just get only the text and not the HTML I am using the link and I am activating my account now if you see the account is activated now let's search for the email name which I have passed which is UI monk uh, uh, let me see where it is I don't find it uh, I think yeah it's here let me click on ID so it will be at the last so now it is activated because we have used the link to activate fine now I'm getting in, I'm getting into the login page to login use the same email address and password to log in let me close this this is a login page if you click on sign up it's yeah it is redirecting you to the index page uh, in the index page you are seeing the ID and the name and if you click on logout you will be your session will be cleared the reason for uh, your name on the index page is because we have created a session on the index page and once I click on the logout your section is expired so here we are going to see email uh, first the sign up part then the email part email part I'm going to skip it which you will find many link many videos about mail trap in the YouTube and then the login and then the index page and then the logout fine let's get into the sign up page what actually we have in the sign up is we are going to create an account so before creating a account I would like to check whether the account is already there or not so so I am getting the request so this is a HTML and I am checking whether the sign up button is set if it is set I am getting all the input field value using the request array and I am checking if it is not empty if it is not empty and I am again passing the values to the query so that to check whether the email is already existed if it is already existed so you cannot create an account that is my intention so let me pass a comment and if email is unique then I am taking the name and passing it to the md5 function and I am converting it to token fine after converting it to token I am passing the input field value to the table which is members fine after send after insertion I am sending the mail along with the token so the token which I have created with the md5 function and it is stored in the variable token so this is a mail section PHP function to send mail and if the mail is sent uh, you will get the message sign up successful along with the and on the mail you will see the token fine this is a message which we get as I said uh, this is a free so I am limited to just use the text not the HTML fine that's okay so if you're on the line so live server you can freely use it now let's get into the email we have I'm, as I said I'm going to skip it let's get into the login so on the login page we have again the same input field with the login sign up login button so if it is set get the input field value using request if it is not empty uh, then uh, if it is not empty we are going to check whether the account is already there if it is there and is activated then pass the information uh, that is a create the session and pass the information to the index.php that's what I am doing now if credential matched and account is activated
create this session and as I said if the credential matches we will get more than zero uh, and I'm redirecting to the index.php now again the index.php I have started the session and that session I'm echoing the created session on the login page and displaying on the index page and if I click on logout the session underscore destroy will release the session created fine let me let me show you let me create a email and password which is not activated in between I have left a section which is a update page I will leave the update page in the description so what it will do is once you click on the link that token will select the name and it will update the activated column that's all for this video thank you so much for listening